welcome to Psychic Medium, Tony Green. I am Tony Green, the Psychic Medium. Um, prepare for what I like to loosely call 60 minutes of entertainment. Here we go. So first and foremost, I will never ever reach out to you. Do not get scammed. If somebody reaches out and says they're me, it is not. I don't reach out to people. Never have, never will. Second, uh, I go live every Monday at noon and every Wednesday at 7 p.m. Both of those times are central for approximately 60 minutes to answer your questions and help you connect to loved ones up above. We're going to start the show as we always do with either names, connections, or confirmations. I'm hearing we're supposed to start with confirmations today. No, you know what? I'm going to do songs. I'm going to do songs because all day I've had these songs playing in, playing in my head. And the songs have been there since I woke up this morning. So I know they're for you guys. So, and again, I know I can't sing. You don't need to send me a message letting me know I can't sing. We all know I cannot sing. I'm at the top of that list. Do not email me saying, you can't sing. You should take some singing lessons. It's not my, I'm not trying to be a singer. <laughs> stop, stop telling me that. I acknowledge it every time I go to sing. Okay, the first song is... That song, time is on my side, but it, it's kind of slow. It goes, time is on my side. Yes, it is. Yes, that song. <laughs> the next song is um, The Devil Went Down to Georgia. And thank goodness I don't have to sing that because everybody knows that song. The next song is, um, it's by that guy who sang the Humpty song. It goes mirror, mirror on the wall. And I cannot hear any other words than that. It's crazy. Okay. Now, if these songs, it could, these songs could be answering a question that you have. They could be a song your loved one loved, you love. They could be just, there could be a message in the song or just every time the song comes on, um, your loved one is with you. Okay. Uh, next song, that song, Slow Ride, Slow Ride. Take it easy. And then that song, Living on a Prayer. And this song, you know, I'm just going to say this. They do not play this song enough. I never, ever, ever get to hear this song. Hey, kid, rock and roll, rock on. I can't even, I'm just saying that that is a song that probably needs to be played more. Okay, so those are the songs I was getting pretty much all day. The next part of this, I'm going to do names. Um, and the names could be your name, their name, the name of somebody in your family or a pet. Anna. Anna is the first name. And it could even be Anna Rosa or Rosa could be a second name. The next name I am hearing is, um, I love when they give me names I can't pronounce. Um, Jirahisko, Herahisko, well, if it's your name, you're going to know. You're just going to know. The next name is Katarina. The next name is Katrina. The next name is Luis. The next name is Lorenz. Lor we all know I can't roll my tongue. Unless, of course, I have caramel in my mouth. <laughs> oh, did I forget the name? <laughs> Pull it together. Um, <laughs> the, 
The next name is uh, Mary Angelo, and that could be two separate names or one name together. The next name is um, the next name is Joshua. The next name is uh, <clears throat> Les, I think it's Lestina. I don't know. I really don't know. Um, the next name is Missy. The next name is Paul. The next name is Rodrigo. And then the last name I'm going to do is April. Okay, those are the names. Those are the songs. Now we're gonna go into, if you'd like to call in and ask a question, you can call 845-277-9131. Make sure you push the one on the keypad so that I know you have a question or you can place your question in the chat of, the, um, of YouTube. I'll be happy to answer that question. Uh, Okay, going to go straight to the first caller, <clears throat> 509. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hello, 509. Okay. So far, this is awesome, 917. What's your name and where are you calling from? And you guys, this could be, I think this is blog talk again. Hello? Oh, hey. Hi, 917. Oh, I'm here. Excellent. What's your name? Yeah, my you? name is Tim. Uh-huh. Uh, my name is Tim. I'm calling from New York. Excellent, Tim. Um, I guess I just, hey, I've been, uh, I've been uh, trying to, not trying, I'm making a practice a few minutes a day, asking my guides for assistance and uh, trying to put up some meditation, trying to bring some manifest some uh, abundance in many different facets. I just was calling to see if you had any tips or words from spirit to help me along on the journey. Yeah, absolutely. So, Tim, you know, I'm quite a. I don't know if you've you've watched some of my past stuff, but I'm, I I've helped people manifest quite a bit. The number one thing. Um, or there's a couple things I can tell you. You cannot manifest something you do not believe you can have. Number two, you cannot manifest something you do not believe you deserve. And number three, if you cannot imagine it in your mind, it will not come to you. That's why advertisers use visualization when they advertise. They give you the vision of it. Um, so one thing that I would say, and the best way to do it is when you are falling asleep at night and after, if you pray after your prayers, when you're in that really deep state, it's almost the hypnotic state. You're not asleep. You're not awake. You're just kind of in limbo there. What you want to do is you want to start thinking about what you want to bring into your life, whether it's tomorrow, the next day, or long term. And then while you're doing that, what you want to do is try to allow the picture of it to come into your mind. Uh, don't force a picture. The next thing I have to give this to everybody, when you are manifesting, let's just say you're manifesting uh, for money and you're only saying the lottery. I want to win this jackpot. Don't do that because there are so many other ways that it, money can be brought to you and it doesn't, it, it, it will be easier and faster. Um, the second thing is when you're manifesting to bring in, let's say, a partner, whether it be work, love, whatever it is, don't bring in a specific person because we all have free will. Put in the characteristics that you want of the person and allow that to come to you. Um, 
And again, if you're have a if you're trying to manifest something you've never ever 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 had before, maybe st and it's not popping, start a little bit lower in your manifestation, not in your accepting of it. So if I'm manifesting and I've never had a million dollars before, I'm going to start at the highest amount I've had. And then incrementally, as I get comfortable with that amount in my mind, I'm going to build up to that million dollars so that that can come to me easily and quickly. But if I say I want a hundred million dollars, well, with that, people's heart starts to race. When you say I'm manifesting a hundred million dollars or the Powerball jackpot, whatever it is, your heart starts to race and you think it's excitement, but part of the heart racing is the nervousness of the amount that you're manifesting. And if you've never ever manifested this amount before or even know have any um, idea of how to feel about that amount, there's fear attached and you have to delete all of the fears so that you can get into co total comfort with whatever you're manifesting. And I'm gonna, my mom, my mom has passed and I'm gonna tell, uh, this is going to make so much sense. My mom was going to buy a vehicle and the vehicle that she wanted to buy was the vehicle she was most comfortable with. And that's the truth with all manifestation. We bring in what we are comfortable with and what we are familiar with. So practice being familiar and comfortable with higher levels to the level that you want to bring in. Um, and everything has a frequency or an energy. So old money, and I, if you don't know what old money is, I can explain that. Old money has a certain frequency where new money has a completely different frequency. Old money has that calm energy or frequency that knowing they belong that knowing it's it's in their lineage it's almost like i don't want to use the word entitlement but it's it's a comfort with them they can't even imagine anything other than their money and the only thing they know is their money is going to grow because money attracts money where new money has this part this kind of uh, excited, excited energy. And that is money that is flying around chaotically to take care of their brother, cousin, mother, baby, mama, and, and everybody else. And new money is always afraid somebody's going to come get theirs, take it, have it. They're going to lose it in some way. This isn't the truth for every single old and new money, but as a whole, primarily it can be. And that's why new money loses their money very quickly too. They're very concerned with taking care of everyone and not investing intelligently. Having said all of this, what we're gonna do right now for everybody listening, watching, re-listening, re-watching, we're going to do a clearing of anything stopping or blocking our manifestations and what we want to bring in. And you can feel this pulling. And for me, I feel it pulling from here and here. Now we speak with our mind and our imagination. We speak our manifestations. So it makes sense that I feel it here, but we're going to pull all of anything stopping or blocking us from bringing in any and all things that we want to manifest. And I'm going to go into a second clearing and we're going to clear the ceiling. We're going to clear the comfort zone to a higher comfort zone and clear the ceiling. So we're going to clear both of those now. Ooh, and does, it, does this make anybody else a little dizzy? Like, oh, like I just got off a spinning ride at a carnival. Oh my gosh. We're going to pull clear, heal, release this. 
now we're for both of these things we're going to clear all that caused it all that's kept it everything that keeps us stuck where we are okay i could do show i you know what i should start a manifestation show because i could do show after show after show and do uh exercise after exercise on manifesting and how to do it and we can literally jump once you once you understand it's all about what you believe because we can never bring in anything we don't believe because then we would consider ourselves crazy it's it's this weird weird thing that everything we br bring in we have to believe it's for us we have to believe it can be brought to us we have to believe it's for us and we have to believe we deserve it now the last thing i'm going to say on manifestation and i know i know um if we're not comfortable with it it will go just as quickly as it came so we have to be comfortable with whatever level we bring in whatever level it is we have to be comfortable with that so that we can hold on to it and build on it okay i i hope this helps tim i really hope this helps definitely does thank you so very much i really appreciate it you are so welcome and come back and re-listen to the clearings because they will continue to help you um to continue to clear layers of things away i'm going to see if there's any questions i think uh trisha has a uh laura i think laura is the first person with a question in the chat and the question is um hope you're having a beautiful day thank you for all the beautiful messages oh laura you're so welcome i thought that was a question it was not but thank you we're going to go to trisha Trisha wants to know, just wondering if my Uncle Pride had any messages for me. Was Okay, so Trisha, the first thing I have to ask, was your uncle a jokester? Um, would he like be the type to go, nope? Um, but yes, yes, your uncle, the first thing your uncle would say to you is, um, okay, this is kind of let go of the past and move into the future. Don't allow people, places, or things to hold you back. You need to, what you need to do, <laughs> this is not coming from me. I'm not the boss of you. I'm not telling you what to do. You need to figure out what you want and move on that without worrying about what anyone or anything else says or does about it. When you when you do what you want, when you put your focus on you and what you want and moving in that direction, everything will fall into place. So don't worry about the what ifs. As long as it's genuine in your heart and from your heart and not your ego, you're going to be just fine. Start, I don't know, Trisha, I hope this makes sense. Start packing today. And that's a pretty big message for me to give you. Start packing today and um, get, get, it, get it moving. Trisha, I need you to tell me in the chat um, are you thinking about pack, moving, taking a trip? Is there a reason why he would say start packing today? Um, please let me know that. I'm going to try 773. What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, this is Elizabeth. I'm calling from Chicago. Hey, Elizabeth. How can I help you today? Um... I recently suddenly lost my cat. Um, he was, um, it was virtually negligent. Hey, um, before, um, before you say anything else, you're kind of echoing on your phone, like it's fading in and out. So can you put your phone to your face and make sure I can hear the whole question? I'm sorry if that's, I'm sorry if it's on my end, yeah. but it'll be easier that way for me. Go ahead, love. 
Yes. Is that better? A little bit, yes. Okay. Um, yeah. I'm looking to connect with my pet who recently passed. Okay. And what's your, it, you said it was a cat, right? Yes. And the name? His name was Meow Meow. Meow Meow. I love that. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> meow meow. Come here. Come here, baby. Meow meow. Okay. Um, I'm seeing as a more like that kitten, but not the teeny tiny kitten, like about mm, nine months or a year old, still bouncy and playy and very fun still a little bit like here on that. And I don't want to say okay. like where they could still just get in so much trouble, not mellowed out yet. Yeah. Um, the biggest thing Meow Meow wants to say is there was nothing that could be done. Um, now your cat is on the other side, correct? It passed or she passed. It passed. Yeah. yeah okay. Um, there was there was like seriously and the way i'm even saying this is kind of like seriously there's nothing i mean nothing that could have been done it was past prime but or past the time or prime for this and that there is don't don't feel I feel like it might have been a difficult choice, but you made the right choice. And that's what I'm getting. And thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Um, thank you. And this is the weirdest thing. And I don't even know if, um, here's what I'm going to say to you. And I'm, I'm, there's a little bit of feedback in your background. So I'm going to do that. But here's what I'm going to say to you, sweetie. Um, I don't even know if or how you would like see this, but mice, anytime you think you see a mouse, um, it's meow meow. And the, or maybe meow meow, got, I don't know, something about mice being a confirmation and um, or maybe little mice toys. I don't know, but that is what I'm hearing for you. Okay, sweetie, I'm going to put you back on. Does that make sense to you? It does. There was nothing we could do. He was hurt by the vet, and it was too late to save him, and he went bravely and peacefully. Yeah. And, th and thank you for that. Thank you for that. Thank you. Thank you for, like, Meow Meow is saying, thank you for allowing that. Thank you. So thank you um so so oh. yes yes so that is that's the oh. message um i hope that that helps you and do you, thank you you're welcome and, and stay on the line for just a second because i'm gonna give you just one one more message and that is that you know when cats do that clawing thing like just if you think you're feeling or hearing that, that's meow meow. Okay, just so you know. Um, okay, 509. If you're still on the line, I'll try to go back to you um, and and take care of that. Uh, okay, so Trisha, I said start packing to Trisha and she said yes exclamation point um here's the confirmation you guys um let me click that again yes we put our home up for sale and we are moving to south carolina and it's so it uh when it sells it's coming in it's gonna it might okay so this is what i'm hearing hurry up wait hurry up wait so like or wait hurry up like it might take a minute for the right person to come in but when it does everything's gonna go super duper fast trisha like so super duper fast you're gonna be like oh oh my gosh so any start like purging stuff now and then also also packing the things you won't need 
right now. So Trisha, thank you for that confirmation. I appreciate it. I'm going to go to the next question on the chat. Here we go. Moon Mama would love to connect, would love to connect with my nephew, Nick, or see what is coming in for me in love. Okay, we're going to connect with Nick. If he has a message about love, Moon Mama, you'll get it. Nick, what do you have for your Moon Mama auntie? Um, I, you know what? I want to say this. Um, I see like a between seven and eight year old. Now, I'm not saying that's the age that he passed, but that's the age I'm seeing him at and he's just dancing and he's in these pajamas. They're like white and they have something on them. And then this blue, it's not elastic, but the, like the blue around here, like that makes it. And then around the ankles also. And just dancing with like something, like goofing around playing. And he can't, and the message is, don't you wish all of life could be like that? Don't you wish all of, like when we, do you guys remember Holy? Do you remember when we were young and we didn't even know? Like we were young and we didn't know, like we had no clue what adulting was. <laughs> I do wish I could go back to that carefree every once in a while. Right guys, right? Okay, um, Moon Mama. What's coming in love for me, Nick? What do you see for love for her? Um, well, that you know, and this makes sense to me. Love is all around you. Open your eyes. Not in a sarcastic way. That's not being said. In order for you to experience love from the romantic partner, first you must recognize the love that's already around you. So when this person comes in, So when this person comes in and um, shows you love, you'll like understand it or see, feel it as love. Um, there's something about you that's having a very difficult time understanding, maybe understanding or knowing that people like truly, truly love you is what I'm getting. I'm going to start clearing for that. Um, we're going to pull all that out, all that caused it and kept it. You actually, you, my dear moon, moon Mama, actually feel like, you know, as long as you're in service to people, of course they want you around. Like maybe you, you might kind of feel like people are there because of what you can do or give them, not because of just you, like... A lot of women feel that way, love. I am going to say this. We're going to clear, heal, release all of that. Okay. Oh. Okay. And then the message is, uh, I heard six months and then I heard four months. So is the person coming in in four months, in six months? The person is coming in in six months, but between now and four months, you, okay, thank you. Figure out what everybody in your life, figure out what their love language is and how they show love to you so that you can understand when people are loving on you. I hope that makes sense to you, sweetie. I really does. I really do hope it does. And um, I hope that confirmation of Nick was helpful. I'm going to go to 352. 352, what's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, Tony. Good evening. This is Joanna in Florida. Hey, Joanna. How are you? 
I am good. You know what? I've had something that's been bothering me for a while, and then I saw you, and I said, maybe this is a good time to ask her. This is about a friend of mine who passed away. He was killed in a, a car accident. He was crossing in a crosswalk and was struck, but then I was shocked to find out who was with him, and uh, other people as well thought that this other individual might have had something to do with contributing to the accident. So that's what's always bothered me because something just doesn't seem right about what happened. Okay, what's the, the person's name? Your your person's name? The, the friend that passed away, his name is Kamar. Kamar. And the person that was with him, what is his name? His his given name is Deshaun, but he always went by Sean. Everybody knew him as Sean. Okay. Here's what I'm going to say to you. I instantly hear two songs, and if this makes sense, you can let me know. Um, that song, Money for Nothing, and the Chicks Are Free. So the Money for Nothing part is the way... The, the oh, oh, hold on, hold on. There's another song, and that song that goes money. So, uh, 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 uh. Yeah, yeah. Okay, two money songs come out, boom, boom, before you even finish asking while you're talking. So this had something to do with money. This had something to do with money. Oh my. So now. The yeah. way I'm going to say this, I have really bad chills, and that's a confirmation yeah. for everybody who has chills right now. Those are your psyches, psyche, your spidey senses, your psychic abilities kicking in, and angels letting you know. Total confirmation. Here's the other thing I'm going to say to you. Um, I hear get rich quick scheme. I hear. You know, so this could have been a couple of different things, but what I'm going to say is um, I hear that that statement, and it, I think this was it says there's foul play afoot. Like I don't even I don't even know if I've ever like heard a person say that maybe once in a movie. But here's the thing: um, any feelings you guys have had or suspicions that you have had about this are probably pretty accurate and you there's one of this was either like a payback thing or to get a payout or a payback thing and that's what i'm getting for this situation i hope this is so so helpful for you love oh bless you so much yes i thought it was over money that's why i have such bed chills exactly so yes you just confirmed everything bless you so much oh my god thank gosh. you again Absolutely, my pleasure. And if you ever need to call in again and um, ask anything else, please don't hesitate. And, you know, I am going to say on that note, um, the the one thing that I that I am also hearing is it that song was is it was it worth it? Let me something. I don't really know, but it wasn't worth it. It wasn't worth it that's what i'm hearing so i hope that that's very 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 helpful for you hey everybody if you would like to call in and ask a question the call in number is 845-277-9131 if you'd like to connect with a loved one or ask an exact question i would love to help you with that you can call in 845-277-9131 Three, one. And if you are watching live on YouTube, you can put a question in the chat. I'll be happy to answer that. I'm live for 60 minutes. If I can't get to you and you really have a question or you need some guidance, I do private sessions. And right now, if you do a private session, I will send you one of as a gift when you pay for a private session i will send you one of the hypnosis sessions um, that i've done in my six week program the self program which if i don't say for myself if i don't say so myself is amazing <laughs> oh my god i've been doing this and let me tell you 
the clarity, the re I, I could do a whole show on, on just that. And everybody who's, who's, who's been doing the sessions have been giving me feedback that it, it's just taking so much, so much out, so much relieving them of so much past stuff. Okay, next, next question. Let's get to it. Greetings, Miss Tony. Well, greetings, Yuvar. Uh, I have a question. They have an answer. Am I being spiritually attacked? Let's find out. We're going to clear, heal, release any and all. Let's clear them now. I feel like the answer, you should know the answer because you're going to feel it. And you should feel it now from him. He's every aspect of his life. Take it now. And for anybody listening, watching, re-watching, re-listening, clear this for them also. Take it all now. Let me know, you bar what you feel with that, because I have a feeling that will be your answer. Okay, if you are asking a question on YouTube or on the phone, um, please be kind enough to like and or subscribe. Also, uh, then you'll know when I'm coming on again. Okay, I'm, I don't remember who I did last. <laughs> I might be going back to the same person again on the phone. Um, 509, what's your name and where are you calling from? 509, nope. Okay, I think that was the first caller. Somehow, oh yeah, somehow I really got lost in here. Um... Somehow I got very, very lost in here. I don't know where I am with colors. I don't know what happened. 504, did I already? What's your name and where are you calling from? Hi, I'm Debbie from New Orleans. Oh, Debbie, How are you? I'm good. How are you? I'm kind of having a little bit of a rough day. I, um, uh, my question is about my mother. I'm really, really, I'm wondering if you see her moving out. Um, I thought I could help, but I'm not sure I'm capable anymore. I, I think I'm too empathic to help somebody like that. And I, I love her, don't get me wrong, but it's pulling me down. Okay, what's, uh, love, what's your mom's name? Flo. Flo. Okay. Floyd. Thank you. Um, I just need an energy to, to connect with. Um, okay, so if your mom moves, it's going to be a choice that you make. Um, I feel like if she stays, I'm gonna get, I'm gonna say a couple of different things here. If she stays, you you need help. You can't do this on your own. You need to bring in other people or have her spend time in other people or places like um, they have centers for elderlies, like um, what recreation centers where they can take classes and spend the day. They have programs. And, but what I'm getting, the biggest thing here, what I'm getting is if she stays, you need to bring help in. But if she, um, if she, if you, if she goes, it's going to have to be you who makes that statement. And you need to look into where she can go and what she can do before you make that choice. So you need to look at all the options before you make that choice for her, because if, if you wait, um, it, it will just keep dragging. And I do feel like she needs to spend time outside 
with her feet in the earth. And I'm not, I'm not a big person on saying that. Um, but that's what I'm getting for her. You need to like maybe put her in, in a chair with her bare feet on the grass. That will be somewhat helpful also. And then the last thing that I'm getting is she she does have, she's carrying, let's do this. Um, let's clear that for her and anybody else listening. We're going to take any energy that no longer serves her and clears that. You're going to have to come back and do this two more times for her. Listen to this part of it at the, um, where are we? We're at like the 40 minute mark of the show. So just go to like the 38 minute mark of the show and listen to this again so that she can be cleared of all of the energy that no longer serves her. And there's some things she doesn't want to let go of. So we're going to ask that that be cut and released from her. Yeah. And it's, I can tell you exactly. It's, oh, okay. It comes, it's in her back near her very, very, very low back, like near the tailbone, below the arch of the back and the tailbone in that area. So they're just going to pull all that out now and they're going to un like unplug it and then just heal that so it can't keep mm, forming, uh, for forming. So they're going to do that. Now, I want you to come back monday or next wednesday and let me know how this helps her if you notice a difference she needs to be outside a lot she needs open windows um that is going to be very 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 helpful for her okay i'm going to go to the next question online or on on youtube i'm sorry my younger son is looking for a job. Do you see any good opportunities for him? Yes. Can you, uh, uh, Eva, can you just put in the chat his age for me? Because I know what I'm hearing and I want to know if this is, if this is, if this is good. Just put his age in the chat for me, please. Uh, and then, uh, and then I'll be able to tell you. Right now, what I'm getting is he should go into an apprenticeship of some sort. And so I want to know how does that fit, even if he is um, younger or no matter what his age is, it, it, there's there's an apprenticeship that's going to fit him. And that's what I have for you, Eva. Um, dun, dun, dun. Let me go back to that question. Okay, you guys, I really need to apologize because on the call-in, I don't know what's happening with the call-in. Typically, the question, the callers are all in order. It seems like they're changing places today. It, I don't know. So I'm just going to click on whoever, whatever number and hope that because I know some of the people I answered are way down low and then other ones are um, up above. So I'm really not sure. I, it seems like they're changing their, I don't know. Um, so I'm just going to try this. If I already talked to this person, I'll just go to the next person, 917. What's your name and where are you calling from? Okay. You guys, did I do 805? I feel like this is the craziest thing. 805, what's your name and where are you calling from? Oh, hi. This is Donna. Hi, Donna in California. I haven't spoken to you in a while. How are you? I'm good. How are you? <laughs> yeah, you always sound great. Um, well, I'm having some problems with my housing. I'm on Section 8. 
uh, they went doing an investigation because way back I'd made money and oh boy, it's all messed up. And I don't know, they haven't told me the outcome yet. I don't know if they're going to make me move or press charges or what. I have no idea. This is with housing. Do you have any, any, any feeling about that as far as with the housing? Um, do they have, okay, here's what I'm getting. Start looking for another place to live. Um, be, uh -huh. pre be prepared to be prepared to move. Um, uh -huh. they might want you to pay back something. Oh, I don't know. Yeah. I don't know for sure. They might want like whatever oh. paid back. Oh. They might try to negotiate like that for you. Like I hear pay back, pay back, pay back. Um, uh -huh. But I'm going to I'm going to say to you guys, like for those of you who are on Section 8, you have to realize that's government and it's federal and it's banking. And people don't realize uh -huh. because they do all of this EBT or electronically through the banks, it is considered fed. It's federal, uh -huh. but it's also banking. So, but I don't feel like, here's what I feel like. I feel like, what do they call that? It's, it's going to be a, like a, if you're playing golf and it's a gimme, I don't, I just know the couple times I played golf, I got a lot of gimmies, just like, like they would just give me the shot because I didn't know how to, I don't really know how to play golf. So it would just be like a, well, let's just call this one a gimme. Okay. It's a gimme. Um, I feel like. So they're going to discontinue, they're going to discontinue my section eight then? Uh, that it hasn't been decided yet. I hear the verdict's not oh, in okay. on that. It depends because you're, you, what they're going to do is they're going to go fine tooth comb and they're going to, they're going to want to know if there's anything else. Now, I do know that they are very strict because if you break any of their rules, they will kick you off of it very quickly. Understandably, there's a lot of people waiting and, and they're, you know, this is, it's, it's, it's a gift. It's, you know, you have to follow the rules. Obviously, I would just say, if what I'm actually hearing for you, and I'm just going to say this, and I'm going to hope it makes sense to you start looking for another place to live and start preparing whatever needs to be prepared. I, I'm not really sure what that means, love. I hope that is helpful for you. Mariah, your question needs to be just a little bit more exact. Thank you so much. I'm gonna come down to this one because this is um, the first person who called in that I could not get through to. And hi, Tony, hope you're doing well. I am, thank you so much for asking. I hope you're doing well too. Um, I was the first caller. I tried to click on you again. It still did not go through, as you know. I was able to hear you and was trying to speak, but for some reason you were not able to hear me. Uh, let's see if I can get to your question, Google account. I'm still on hold. Okay, what, oh, I, I'm so sorry. I, I need your question. Google account. I, I need your question. <laughs> I thought I was going to get your question. I did not. Okay. So sorry. I'm so, so sorry. Uh, la, la, la. I don't, and again, I don't know where I am. <laughs> you, you guys, tonight is, <laughs> this is craziness. <laughs> this is pure your funniness um oh that's that's awesome pat says i heard time is on my side twice today i love that um and then she wants to know do, do i have um song 
it's from uh, her husband. Does he have a message for me? So her husband, Jim, Pat wants to know, does her husband, Jim, have a message for me? Yes. Um, the song comes in right away. Take it, take it on the run, babe. If that's the way you want it, babe. Whatever that song is, I... And then the next song, that's the first song that, that's the first, that take it on the run is the important part, if that's the way you want it, is a second part, but they don't have to go together is what he's saying. And then, um, dark to my eyes. I don't really know that song, but I've heard it. So that's the next thing that's coming through. And these could just be confirmations for you, or they could be messages of what to do next. And then the actual message, like those are messages, don't get me wrong, but the actual word, like words that are talking, the actual words are, um, Oh, he's going to make me cry. Mm. That song, and and I will always love you. And I, and I will always. From the bodyguard, thank God. Oh, I don't have to try to sing any more of it. From the bodyguard. Whitney Houston. Oh, my goodness. Thank you, thank you, thank you. That's his actual message to you. Um, I will always love you. There was nothing wrong with me. There was nothing wrong with you. There was nothing wrong with us. We were just two people trying to make it. And I think we did a pretty damn good job. Um, all things being considered, I believe we did a damn good job. And that is his message for you. And I love that. Absolutely love it. Okay, um, I'm gonna go down a bit so that I can find some new messages and I think I'm gonna try. And if you are, okay, if you would like to call in, the call-in number is 845-277-9131. And if you are, uh, please make sure you hit the one on your keypad if you have a question you would like to ask. Mm, okay. Um, and I don't know. Uh, I think I already took care of both of those. So I'm just going to go over here and I'm going to go to Alexis. Alexis is uh, not showing up. There it is. Oh, maybe it was there. Okay, Alexis. Um, I'm feeling very happy in my life right now. So my question is, I'm a Libra and Sagittarius. I want to see if we are compatible soulmates. Okay, you're a Libra with a Sag, I'm guessing. And you wanna know if you guys are um, compatible. You know, the one thing I'm getting is if you're a little bit sensitive, and I feel like you are, and I feel like you are, uh, you're going to expect a certain amount of fairness or... Um... Okay, so if I'm just ans answering the questions, would you, the question, would you two be compatible? I get yes, no, yes, no. There are areas where the two of you are going to do really well together, but there are going to be some areas that are going to be very, very difficult, and there will be some irreconcilable, irreconcilable, irreconcilable differences between the two of you. Some at least one or two things that are somewhat important that you two will not agree on. And you have to decide if you're okay with that. If that's something 
that you can live with. I always say uh, we can make almost any relationship work depending on how much we're willing to put up with or sacrifice. Um, you are kind of a happy-go-lucky person and you need to make sure, I hear that song, I hate, uh, that song, don't bring me down, whatever that is. Um, so make sure short-term, long-term, you're in a situation with someone who will be able to match your happiness or your level of, of, um, of, of, you know, energy and happiness and joy. Um, so that's what I have for you. I'm going to see if I can do one more, um, one more. I'm going to see if that Google account person answered Google account. There it is. Hi, Tony, please don't forget me. 509. Yeah, you know, 509, I clicked on it again. And it, it's still I didn't hear anything. I tried again. So please just put your question in the chat. And I only have like, not a lot of time left. So please put your question in the chat. And uh, our current Oh, here, up here, I may have forgot. I missed these two. Okay, here it is. Never mind. Um, our current pool is run down and has been closed for over a decade. In terms of getting, okay, uh, so the question is is kind of scattered, like my whole show today. Just saying, it's a fact. Um, okay, so it's, it's basically one question and I'm trying to get through, uh, your town. My number is regarding my town. I would like my community to get a new pool. I'm very passionate because I want children to have the opportunity to learn to swim for, meets meet with Jeff and Mayor they seem to be on board also know about so you want to know is your community going to get a new pool I believe yeah it's it's I feel like they're going to do a re renovation of it I really feel like they're going to do a renovation of it and I I feel like it might not be everything you want but i also feel like some of the people in the community are not going to care about this and you just have to be okay with that um because either they don't have kids or they would never use the pool and it's never government folks here's the thing i want us all to stop saying government money no politician 90 seconds in our lifetime is pulling out their checkbook and writing the checks for any of the stuff going on right now it's all taxpayer money okay so i know and having said that that's nothing about your pool or your area or what's going on some people just won't be for it because you know they're gonna th think there's something more practical or better for the community or they just seconds. don't want the money spent but i do feel like it is going to be revised I feel like it will be revised. There will be some updates to it that will be very, very, very helpful. I hope that helps you. I um, am so grateful each and every one of you were here and spent this time with me. Thank you so much. I look forward to next Monday, but I might do a pop-up show this weekend. So pay, look out, pew, look out for that. And um, I love you all so very much. Have an amazing rest of the day.